speaking of history, I got something for you. Let me go ahead and hand it to you. You, you call me about this. Okay. So we were uh, contacted by a woman named Nancy Nazareth. Uh, she pointed out that you grew up on 135th and Avalon. I my mother is still living in it. She's from 51st and Vermont. And she feels that she gets everything that you talk about. So she went and provided this book that she's had for a long time. Look at the side of it. Look at the date of this book. 1833. 1833. This is a 190-year-old book that you're holding in your hands right now. Why does she give it to me? Well, there was some stuff in there that she found interesting about Thomas Jefferson and so forth. Now, we looked up the, the basis of this book. And essentially, this is called a magazine. Even though it looks like a book, back then these were called magazines. And this was basically put out by a very rich person who wanted to push their political agenda. And back then, when there was no radio, no TV, no internet, books was the way that they would actually push their ideas. Right. If you look at where the, the bookmarks are, there's some interesting stuff in there that she actually pointed out. There's some stuff about Thomas Jefferson in terms of selling his kids and, you know, his yeah. biracial kids and everything else like that. But it's, uh, you, know, you know, to, when she, when this book came out, what I'm doing right now would get me killed. Mm. Reading this, knowing yeah. that it said something. Yeah. Crazy. So it's, it's, it, it's, it makes me sad that that even our examples of history are written in our blood and our pain. Mm. She gave me a book to read that it was illegal for her to have. Like whoever got she got it from could have been killed knowing that she he, she had it or read it or knew what it meant. Is at, at one point and the thing that's so salient to me and it really gets me kind of worked up. At one time, it's illegal for enslaved people to learn, and now. It's illegal for us to learn about enslaved people. And I get a book. So that 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 is a well, I wonder why anybody give me a book knowing how bad I read, but that would be. That's uh that's very touching. Yeah. It's pretty wild. It's pretty wild that a book is this old and it's still around. You know, and you have a library at your house, so I figured you would you would uh, you would appreciate that. I, I don't know. I don't know my, my whole library ain't this old together. <laughs> <laughs> it's amazing, man. Yeah. July through December, eighteen thirty-three, and it was a magazine. <laughs> wow. This is before the Emancipation Proclamation. A long time. <laughs> yes. Yeah. This was uh, thirty-seven years. 18, right? 1855, was yeah. it? Yeah, this was almost yeah twenty something years before the Emancipation Proclamation. When this book was written, slavery was legal in America. Yep, and this act was an act of defiance. Mm. Both of us, by the way, you for giving me a book and me for knowing what it read. Right, but it got us killed. Yeah, and now the the, the symbolism of that. Right now, there are people who have the strains of that same idea. That it's my history that's deadly. That it, that it's my history that's an affront to your existence. Mm. That's amazing. Amazing. Yeah. This book is. I, I don't even. Now I gotta read again. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Two hundred year old book. Yeah. Still in fairly good shape. Yeah. Well, you could tell. It's amazing. 